coming right back at you guys with another video um very important video excuse the wind the wind is blowing um of course i'm gonna have to project over the wind and i know it makes for a bad video but we can't let that stop us from getting the information out um today we're gonna have the conversation also the demonstration uh of basic and advanced obedience most people when they get their dog back or when they when they take their dog to training they tell the trainer um we want basic obedience or we want advanced obedience and once they get the dog back they don't know what they're looking at or looking for so so today's demonstration we will be demonstrating clearly what what is basic obedience and what's advanced obedience I bought today my stable mate. Uh, we started training dogs roughly about the same time. I think that he's probably started training a few years before me. Um, but he's going to be demonstrating and, you know, kind of talking about his dogs and the purpose for his dogs. Um, so with no longer ado, we're going to get the film rolling and get this demonstration rolling. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, take it with you. Rewatch re it every day as much as you can. Um, share it, like it, comment. Peace. Okay, guys, I had to do a voiceover because the wind was blowing too aggressively, causing a bit of distraction. Here, we're about to demonstrate basic obedience. Every command falls under the umbrella of basic obedience will be done with a leash in hand. As the handler proceeds to walk or what we call heel, the dog is on his side, allowing the handler to walk freely, swinging on the arms. Once the handler stops, the dog sits and waits for the next command. When healing your dog, regardless of where you turn, left or right, the dog should stay by your side. Now, one thing I did notice about this dog, and I'm going to point out, is that the, the dog is showing the handler attention. This is called a focus heel or an attention heel. Most of the times you see this type of heel at some kind of special event show or competition if you ask your trainer for this type of heel note that it could become expensive more than just a basic heel which where the dog is looking forward and there's nothing wrong with the dog looking forward he's about to down the dog and what I want you to notice when he downs the dog. The dog is not block, blocking his walkway. The dog is downing beside him. I've seen a lot of pet trainers, pet cold, pet smart. When they down the dog, they don't care how the dog down. The, if the dog downs in front of you, behind you, just down. Here, we want our dogs to down on our side and sit on our side don't sit on your leg sit directly on your butt again as he's walking he's walking freely he commands the dog to stay while still on leash basic obedience Remember, everything on leash. As he proceeds to walk back to his dog, his dog does not move, stays there.
Okay, again, he stops. The dog should sit. Here, we are doing what we are called a recall to a heel position while still on leash. Okay, guys. If you get your dog from the trainer and your dog is not doing anything remotely close to this, then take your dog back to the trainer to so that he may fix it. Because if he's, he, if he's not doing this, he's not doing basic obedience. After every session, remember to reward your dog by praising it. If you have a toy at hand, let your dog have its toy. over a year okay how long have you been training her for about three four months okay so so we, so we seen the basic obedience uh could she do all that off lead oh yeah yes so she can advance she, she, she got advanced obedience man. so what kind of dog is she dutch shepherd dutch shepherd yes sir cool, cool. And, and and what did you learn to train dogs that like this um started with la master canine Watch, watch area. Okay. And who was the head trainer at that time? Um, Malcolm Lazarby and yeah. uh, Mac Farmer. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I, I enjoyed what you just displayed for me. Appreciate you demonstrating that. And uh, we off to the next. guys uh, again I had to do the voiceover because the wind was cutting into our mics um, causing a bit of disturbance um, but the best part is we have made it to the advanced segment of our video um, I'm going to attempt to do everything that the previous dog done only without a leash i'm going to allow my voice to be my leash notice as i walk the dog allows me to walk freely arms swinging in the natural position once i stop the dog must sit waiting on his next command As I noted in the previous part of the video, regardless of which way you turn, whether it's left or right, your dog should be on your side. You command the dog to down. The dog does not cut in front of your walkway, nor is the dog behind you. The dog shall down on your side. I hope this video gives you some insight on what you are looking forward to once you get your dog back from your trainer. Here, I'm doing what they call stay in motion, meaning the dog stay as I continue to walk. 
Now, from whatever destination I am, I then tell the dog to down. And from the down position, I command the dog to sit. And from that sit position, I call him into the heel position, which would be on my side. Okay, guys, I hope that I helped you guys out, gave you guys some type of insight. You know, I hope that you guys watched the video. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Leave comments. They help.